Streamlabs has just released a game-changing plugin for OBS. It lets you easily multi-stream and add alerts, themes, chatbots, and more. Now this video is sponsored by Streamlabs, but I've been a Streamlabs Ultra user for over two years, so I would have made this video anyway. Now you can follow this guide for free, but if you do decide to upgrade to Ultra, you can use my affiliate link to get $9 off, and it also supports my work, it's in the description. So let's begin by downloading the plugin, I'll put that in the description as well. Now let's quickly just run through the installer, so we'll just press next and we'll just install it into the default location and I'll select yes I've got OBS installed I'll put it in the description if you don't have it yet and then we'll just press finish so we can now open OBS and if it hasn't popped up Streamlabs and the onboarding for you I'm going to click on docs and click on both of the different Streamlabs docs and then I'm going to click on Streamlabs at the top and in the settings reset the onboarding but for you it's probably popped up automatically so the onboarding will prompt you to log in. I suggest using a Streamlabs ID. It's going to offer you an overlay, but I'm actually going to set one later. That's because we'll just make a few settings tweaks first. So I'll skip that for now. And of course, I will type my PayPal email address because I want donations. And then you'll probably be left on the Streamlabs window. And we'll close that for now just to look at some basics on OBS first. Starting with these docs, you can drag these out to take them completely out of OBS if you want. And you can place them wherever you want within OBS. I'll just put mine back on the left and of course you can drag on the sides to resize both of them and before we look at the rest of the Streamlabs OBS plugin we want some good OBS settings so I'm going to click profile and new at the top check show auto config wizard and give your profile a name what I'm going to do I'm going to set up a vertical multi-stream to TikTok live YouTube shorts and Instagram so I'll call mine Streamlabs multi-stream and I'll press ok we're going to optimize it for streaming and set it to 1920 by 1080 with 60 fps we'll press next now this box doesn't really matter too much because Streamlabs is actually going to overrule this but you can connect something real like your Twitch account if you want. Again I'm literally just going to type anything into this box. I'll make it a bit bigger then we're going to uncheck estimate bitrate and change the bitrate to 6000. Once we've done that we'll press next and now we have some great OBS settings so we'll just apply them. But of course now it's time to decide whether you want landscape or portrait. If you want portrait click file and settings and then head into video and manually type into this box 1080x 1920 and change the scale to 1080x 1920 as well. While we're here, by the way, we may as well just add in our audio. So add in your headset and then add in your microphone if I can find it. There we go. And then we'll just press OK on that. And one final thing I'm going to do next to my microphone, I'm just going to add in a noise suppression filter called RN Noise. Let's look at some of the Streamlabs plugin features now. So again, to get this back up, I'm going to click on Streamlabs at the top. Now, before we actually set anything up, let's look at one of my favorite features here. If I press start streaming, this pops up. And by the way, if that doesn't pop up, click on settings and make sure start streaming flow is turned on. Anyway, this is great for multi-streaming because what it does, it sends one upload stream to Streamlabs who then send it to whatever platform you select. And you can see I've got a choice of 10 different platforms because I've chosen vertical. I've checked YouTube, which is going to send it to YouTube Shorts, Instagram and TikTok. You might be confused here. This was just a second YouTube Shorts channel I was testing. Now then you would just press next and enter some stream information. And now you press start streaming. Streamlabs does the rest and helps you multi-stream to up to 10 platforms. Of course, if you have your TikTok stream key, you would press the settings cog and just make sure your TikTok stream key is configured. There's more info about how to get one for free in the description. Anyway, before that, you probably want to set up your live stream with an overlay. Now, again, there is some free and paid ones and you can get a discount on Ultra with my affiliate link in the description. As you saw earlier, I was using Dark Matter. You saw it in Landscape. Let's now set it up for Vertical. So I'm just going to click on it and then you click Install Overlay and it takes about 30 seconds, might prompt a restart of OBS and then it will install. As I said earlier, Dark Matter has themes for both Landscape and Vertical and many of them will. So what we've got to do is click on all the different scenes on the left and remove and resize some of the sources. So for now, I'm just going to hide everything and I'm going to just lock everything and then we'll just show the ones that we want. So for me, I want starting vertical. So I'll click on it. I'll unlock it. And I'll show it. Now I'm going to right click, transform and fit it to screen. And now we have a great looking vertical starting soon screen. I also want one of my alert boxes back. So I'll unlock that one and show it as well. And I'm going to do the same. I'm going to right click, transform and reset the transform this time. Then I'm going to right click, transform. I'm going to center it horizontally. And that, by the way, will be for our YouTube short alerts. 
you would have to add something like Tickfinity for your TikTok alerts. Now, speaking of those alerts, if we go back into the Streamlabs window, if I click on widget themes, this is the different alert boxes and the way they look. What I actually did is check the box to install the Doc Matter one, but if we want a different one, we would literally just click on the one we want and install the widget theme. And then there's actually two ways to test the way it looks. You can click on test events in the bottom left and simulate something. So let's simulate a YouTube sub and you can see it's appearing here. And it's actually showing me that I probably want to make it a little bit bigger. You can also simulate on the left. You can see I've got my recent events, so I could just press the replay button to do the same thing. Now that was, of course, the alert box widget. But if I go on the widgets page, you can add a lot more widgets. So for example, if I want to add the chat box to my starting soon screen, I can click on settings, which opens the Streamlabs website to fully customize it. And then once I'm happy, I would just press add. And if we go back to OBS, you can see it's now added the chat box where I can just drag it around to place it where I want and I can also double click it by the way and you can change the height and width here. So these are mostly for Twitch or YouTube so play around with the widgets. We also have easy access to our tipping URL. If you're on Twitch make sure this is a panel on your Twitch page. For TikTok the only real place you can put it is in your link in bio but if you're also streaming on YouTube Shorts we can use Cloudbot. So I'll just copy this link and I'm going to click on the Cloudbot and then you just manage it on streamlabs.com. So I'm on streamlabs.com. I'm going to make sure I'm on the correct platform, which is YouTube to start with. If you haven't followed the steps to add it as a mod, go ahead and do that first. And I just want a donate command. So I'm going to head into commands. You can see I've already got mine added, but you just click add command. And let's look at my donate command settings. Really simple. I've just put the link and a little message. Of course, I briefly mentioned it before, but we do have the recent events for your live stream on Twitch, Facebook and Trovo on the left hand side. And if we click back into the Streamlabs window, we do have the stream labels as well. And what this allows you to do is show recent things that have happened. So you can see, for example, I already have a most recent subscriber label. Let's add a new one by clicking add stream label. And if you're multi-streaming, you'll have all sorts of different ones here. If I scroll to the bottom, for example, here's my total Twitch follow account. So I can click on that and you can see what it's now added is my Twitch follow account. And I might want to additionally add another text source. So I'd click plus and add a text source and I'd name it something like Twitch follow text. And I'll type in something like Twitch follow account, press OK. And then I'll just put them next to each other and the viewers can watch it go up as they follow something like that. Of course, that's just an example because I'm not actually going to stream on Twitch for this one. So we'll get rid of those. But just in general, the stream labels are great for anything related to your Twitch or YouTube channels. And by the way, there's actually an easy way to do this as well. If we go back to stream labels next to total follower account, if I just click the three dots and edit, I could add the text here instead. So I've added in total follower count before count in brackets. And now I don't need to add the second text source. And then just finally on the right here, of course, is the Streamlabs chat. And with Streamlabs Ultra, it will let you combine chats, including Facebook, YouTube, X and Twitch. And if you're streaming on TikTok, you could option just add a doc and click on custom browser docs. And then just here in this box, you could just paste in your TikTok chat URL as well and have them side by side with the other chats. In fact, you can see I've already got this box here, which is a Tickfinity chat doc. So thank you Streamlabs for sponsoring today's video. And of course, you might want to stream in both landscape and vertical. And you can do that with Streamlabs dual output. And my guide is on screen now.